Is a desktop wallet a good way to store your crypto? Sometimes it is, many times it isn't. In this tutorial, you will learn more about desktop wallets and we will show you how to install and use one of those. And that is Exodus Wallet. So stay with us and keep on watching. Hi, I'm Adrian and I am part of the Bitcoin for Beginners team. Our community has chosen to do this tutorial about Exodus. If you want to be part of our community and help us decide which content to make, please subscribe to our channel and find the link in the description and be part of our Facebook group as well. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a like. And also pay attention to the disclaimer and if necessary, stop the video right here to read it completely. Okay, what are we going to talk about in this desktop wallet tutorial for Exodus? We will go through some of the characteristics of Exodus Wallet. We will give you a short summary of wallet software in general. We will talk about security measures to take with wallet software. We will go through the installing process. We will show you how to receive crypto with the wallet. We will show you how the backup process works. We will send some crypto. We will look at the coin swap feature in the Exodus wallet. And we will show you how to restore the wallet through the backup process. All timestamps are given in the description, but please don't skip the part of security measures because that is very, very important. So what are the pros of Exodus wallet? First of all, it's one of the most popular wallets. It has an easy installation process and it has an easy user interface, which makes it very beginner friendly. It has many, more than 100 coins and tokens supported. It has a built-in coin swap feature, which is an exchange integrated in the wallet. And most important, you control your own private keys. The cons, it's not a very secure way to keep your coins, but that is the same with every other software wallet. And its user friendliness has also a trade-off because network fees are not adjustable. So why did we choose to make a tutorial about Exodus? First of all, like we said, the community has voted for it and we wanted to make an example tutorial for software wallets in general and most wallets are similar in basic features and processes. And Exodus is mainly very beginner friendly and it's good for practicing purposes. So just a summary about wallet software in general. A software wallet does not store your coins and tokens. In reality, it stores your digital private keys to access the coins on the network. A better analogy would actually be Keychain. The wallet reads and calculates the balances of the so-called wallet addresses, which are controlled by the private keys. It generates new addresses for new transactions and deposits. It signs transactions with the private keys and then broadcasts the transaction to the network. And if you're wondering what are wallet addresses, these can be best compared to account numbers on the blockchain. Our recommendation is to only use software wallets under these very selective circumstances. If you want to practice and learn using a software wallet, how addresses work and how to make transactions, or for the convenience of making quick online small value payments or transactions, or if you want to spend a paper wallet, because most software wallets will allow you to sweep a paper wallet and send coins directly. Any other use, such as larger amounts, long-term storage, avoid software wallets and use hardware wallets and paper wallets. If your software wallet has a hardware wallet support, then please use that functionality with your hardware device. And as we all know the famous phrase, not your private keys, not your Bitcoin. You as a crypto holder have a personal responsibility over your coins. You need to have complete control of your private keys and the best practice for this is to keep them in a wallet that you control the keys of. However, your software wallet is only as secure as the computer it is installed on and your own security practices. If your computer is compromised, hacked or infected by malware, then your private keys will be stolen and wallet funds will be drained from your wallet. So the actual best practice is to not use software wallets. But if you can avoid using hot wallets, at least secure your computer and apply security measures and take those very seriously. And we will talk about some of those security measures right now. We will give you a list very quickly of all the measures that you should be taking. If you want to read them all through, you can find links to the resources in the description. 
First of all, you need to make sure your computer is virus and malware free. Install a strong antivirus malware software, keep all software updated, don't use public Wi-Fi, especially not for sending any transactions. At home, you should preferably use an internet connection with cable and try also to avoid Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Use the computer with the wallet software only on 100% trusted websites. Don't click on untrusted links and not click any ads or ad links. Don't open email attachments or sources that you don't 100% trust on that computer. Preferably use an ad blocker as well because many ads contain malware. Do not store your 12 word backup seed phrase on any computer. Keep it completely offline, write it on a paper and keep it in a secret safe location. Ideally make an extra backup as well. Make the backup of your wallet in a private location where no one is able to see your computer screen. And do not do this on a public Wi-Fi connection of course. You need to keep your 12 word seed phrase secret for everyone and this is very important. Also use a very strong password for your wallet. Best practice is to use a password manager. If available for your wallet, you should definitely use two-factor authentication. Unfortunately, Exodus has this not a security feature. After installation of the wallet software, first test everything with small transactions. And if the wallet has the option for email recovery of your wallet, use a private email account that is not known to others and the email account has to be protected by two-factor authentication. If the email doesn't have two-factor authentication available, do not have the recovery email sent. Before you start installing the wallet software, please visit our forum bitcoinforbeginners.io slash discussions. We will provide links in the description where you can find the resources about security measures as discussed in this video. And you will also find a crypto wallets cheat sheet. So find those links in the description. And now we will start to install the wallet. So let's first start with the installation process. First go to exodus.io, which is currently the website for Exodus Wallet. And then you can click here on the download button. You can choose which type of operating system you're running. In this case, it's Windows. It will download the installation program. When it's downloaded, we will just run the program by double clicking it. It says installing Exodus. And when it's done, it will just say Exodus has been installed. Click OK. We can now click away the website. After we succeeded with the installation process, the Exodus shortcut will appear here on our home screen. If we just click it, it will open the wallet. Before we can do the backup process for the 12 word seed phrase, we will first need to send assets to the wallet for Exodus. So we can click here on send assets to the wallet. So if you want to send Bitcoin, we can click receive. But in my case, we're going to send some Litecoin. So we click Litecoin, you see changes here. You click receive and then you will get a QR code and the Litecoin wallet address. So if you use another wallet to send the funds to, you can just copy this address by clicking this button here copy to the clipboard you can open it in the other wallet or uh, in your exchange and withdraw funds to send it to the wallet of exodus but in my case i will just scan the qr code with my mobile wallet by the way because transactions are irreversible on the blockchain you will always need to double check the address after copy pasting it and now you will just wait for the confirmation of the transaction and as you see it received the transaction a few seconds ago if you want to check the status of the transaction on the blockchain you can just click the transaction id and it will open the block explorer where you will see the details of the transaction now it will also give you here the red mark at backup which means we can start the backup process first we need to create a strong password click next and you will need to type your password in again and click next. Now you will see the recovery words. You will need to write all those down in the precise order as displayed here. And when you have done that, you can click next. As a confirmation, you will need to choose the word that also appears in your paper backup. In this case, this one. Okay, so now if you want to send funds from your wallet, then you can just click send. And here 
you can paste the Litecoin address where you want to send funds to. Make sure that you double check the wallet address once again. And if you want to send the whole content of your wallet, you can just click all or you can adjust dollar amount and it will recalculate the coin amounts or just the amount of coins you want to send. And when you're done, you can just click send and the transaction will be broadcasted to the network. Exodus also has a coin swap feature integrated in uh, the software and you can access that by clicking exchange. And if you want to swap coins from one to another, you can click which ones to do. It's not very suitable for active trading, but if you once in a while want to swap coins, it's perfectly reasonable and very easy to do so from the wallet itself without having to transfer all coins to an exchange and back to your wallet. For example, I want to exchange my Litecoin. I can do all and then I, if I have enough in my wallet, I can just send it to the other exchange. Then if anything happened with your wallet and you need to restore it with your 12 word seed phrase, in that case, you have to reinstall the wallet on another device, click to open it. Then in other circumstances, you would just type your password to enter it. But if you need to restore your wallet, you click on restore. And here you find the 12 places where you need to restore your wallet. And you can type in every word of the seed phrase in the correct order. So those are the most important features that you need to know about Exodus Wallet. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel and we see you all next time.